Hi there, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have a gorgeous Christmas card set from Hunky Dory. This is The Road to Bethlehem, uh, Follow the Star and it's such a beautiful, beautiful set, the richness of the colours. So we're going to be making a card from this and as per my pledge I have got another card from the shaped card set that I got from Hunky Dory. So this one is a gatefold card. So again, something a little bit different to what I normally use. So just shoving this to one side straight away, let's get cracking with the card. So the first thing I want to do is just fold in the gatefold and just making sure that those creases are nice and sharp, like so. And then the next thing I want to do is put the inside of my card together. So what I want is to put this lovely section as the middle part of my card. So you need to mark off exactly what size it is and cut it to size. So what I'm going to do is line that up and then mark with a pencil where I need to cut. And then, so there we go. That's going to fit in there beautifully. And then you could um, put some layers up on that matting and layering if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go straight in as it is. So I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to pop that down. And then I'll just grab my little tool here and that will help me pull these layers of tape off. And then just popping that into the centre of our card here. There we go. So that's going to be our centre panel. Now, what I was thinking was that I could split this piece into two to just add that down there but I'm just wondering now whether I want to use these pieces because this is what's going on the front and I think that that would look I hoping that there'd be enough so I think I'll do the front ones first and then do the inside panels and hopefully there'll be enough pieces so I think with this what I'll do is I'll put the um, tape on the front and then cut it to size. I think that's just as easy. And then I'm going to, while I've got the tape, I'll do the other side as well. And this is actually going to be one of those cards, hopefully, that's quite easy to make, but looks really effective when done, if I do it right. That's the theory. But always the way when you say something like that that it all goes horribly wrong isn't it but anyway that's what editing's for <laughs> okay so let's pull these tapes off and then just grabbing my card here and then just lining it up it that way around. <laughs> Just line it up with the front. Like so. Press it down and then obviously I'm, that's only stuck to that piece. So then we'll just grab my scissors and cut along that back piece. Like so. And then do exactly the same for the other side. Okay, so that's our front panels done. Okay, so I've done the inner panels, the outer panels, and I also added that spare piece on the back because I just think it looks much nicer. And what I did do is I used BG78 
a marker pen just down these creases because they were bright white and they looked horrible where now although obviously they're still there you it doesn't look quite so obvious and so strong uh, contrast so I think that looks better so now we need to just finish off the front so as I say it's simple card in so far as all you're doing is covering all of it and then what we're going to do is just take this element here and it's got a frame on it so I want to separate the frame as well I'm just going to get my craft knife and do that very gently just to be sure to Getting my little buffing tool, I'm just going to go around the edges just to smooth out any of those notches. So that just makes it look a lot neater. There we go. So then, what we want to do is put our frame and centerpiece onto the panels but what I want to do is attach one to one side and one to the other so then they have to interlock to do up and undo so it just makes it that little bit different okay so we want to put tape on this half of this one and on this half of that one and then we'll stick them down together so that we can be sure that they are going to stick nicely so I'm actually going to use some 3d foam for both I think that will be fun so it's this half for this one so let's just do it to about there like so and then this one we want on this side and we're going to have to chop this in half just holding this down let's put this piece on first because we want to get that central so that's going to level with the bottom piece there I'm going to just put my scissors up the top here I think to hold that down so that's on there and then I'm going to take this one and pop it down inside the other one. But obviously it's going to stick to the other side. So then when we open it, opens like so and closes like so. Which I think just makes it a little bit more, just a little bit of fun. And it's so opulent. Ideally, I would have preferred another frame on the back to make it look better. You know, I don't like it being white on the back edge of that so much, but there's nothing I can do because I don't have another frame. But I think it looks really pretty. I just want to add my sentiment. To the inside of my card here so just taking my tape pen I've got a little sentiment and we'll add that just up into this corner over here I think like so so that's our little sentiment and now our card is finished so, as I say, it's a simple card to make, but I think it just looks really effective and so opulent with this beautiful hunky-dory cardstock. So, I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye!